Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I restocked a ton of hardware on my website. The link is down below near the subscribe button. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit the button. You know, it's just like one little click, it can't hurt. Anyway, so uh, today I'm gonna show you how to use these really awesome tassel caps. Um, they are pretty easy to use and they're gonna add a lot of class to your bag like look out, insert designer handbag name here. Anyway, so I have this really cool electric screwdriver. If you're looking for the link and you're guessing it's down below, you would be correct. Um, so you just kind of start getting that screw out. Once you've gotten most of the way, you could probably just use your hand. Um, you don't want to lose this screw. It is really long, so that's nice. It's easy to find. But I have these handy dandy invisible magnetic snaps that I just kind of click it to. Can't lose it because that would be terrifying. Um, so I have this four by six piece of vinyl. It's just kind of scrap laying around, um, which is what these are perfect for. Um, and you could be super fancy and measure I'm just kind of going a quarter of an inch, kind of like an eighth of an inch away from each one. We'll just make a bunch of cuts. It just gets rolled up and stuffed into that little circle, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, if we're using a thicker material, you probably won't need um, as big of a piece for the tassel itself. So keep that in mind. You can play with your measurements just a little bit. Um, four by six is just kind of my standard scrap piece. So there we have, it's basically your mason fringe. And I just wanna stare at that forever. Can I just say that? Ah, okay. Um, if you're wondering where I purchased this vinyl, um, I actually used to sell it and I don't anymore. But if you like really, 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 really need some, uh, you can message me uh, because I do have a lot left over, uh, but I use it, you know. Uh, so I'm just tightly rolling this up. Tight, tight. Uh, you could use a little bit of glue if you wanted to. You could also insert a little bit of glue inside, but there's this giant screw that goes through it, so I'm not really worried about it. You want to really get it nice and tight. Uh, this is literally the first time I'm using these, so, you know, we're learning together, which is what this is all about. Okay, so we've got it. You just want to keep pushing until you kind of can't push anymore. Ah! Okay, uh, so now we want to find that screw. Uh, if you have, like, a really thick, sharp needle, uh, now would be a really good time to... Um, not lose your screw, uh, just kind of stab it in there. Um, I have an awl that I use to punch holes, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. This is from Tandy Leather, but they sell them at Home Depot, so like, don't waste your money. Be careful not to stab yourself, but see, I was able to get through there. I'm just gonna slowly pull that back out. Um, if you're using leather, this is gonna be a lot harder to get through all of those layers. Um, I might even recommend like maybe just gluing it, if that's the case. Try not to lose your screw, you guys, like I keep doing. It's a really long screw. Okay, so I've got the screw on my screwdriver. I'm just gonna push it in. going. Hopefully you can see. No, you can't see. There we go. The electric screwdriver makes it so much easier. Oh, this is such a satisfying process though. My goodness. Okay, so it's screwed in all the way and I've got a really cool tassel cap. You can add this to um, handbag zipper on the end. You can add it to um, a strap connector, anything like that. You could add it to a crossbody strap. It's so easy. It's so easy. I can't wait to make all of them. 
Um, another thing that you can do if you don't like seeing this screw here, um, you can actually cut a little piece of extra leather, vinyl, whatever, and you could glue it to that part. I've seen a lot of people do, do that. Um, I might leave mine raw. I don't know, I'll play with it. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have an idea of what you'd use those for. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys.